Okay. I'm in Home Idea 3D and I'm going to show you how to create this gable and valley roof. It's a full gable across there and it's got a smaller gable but it's got a valley as well. It's going to show you how that's done using Home Idea 3D. Okay, so this is my plan that I was working on in my previous tutorial on how to share. In this tutorial, I'm going to create that gable and valley roof on another level. So I'm going to go and create a new level, add level, level two. Now I create it on another level so that I can continue to work on level one. The roof won't get in the way. Level two. I will also need some rulers or some guides to help me. This is very useful when creating a roof. So let's just bring one out. If I just, I can drag them from their borders here. And I'll just make sure that's on six meters. There we go. Looks like my background image isn't perfect. Okay, so there's another one. I'll put that one on zero. And let's go up to the top and I'll put one on the top as well. Let's just zoom in and make sure I get that right. Okay. And we'll put another guide on this section here. Okay. Very good. And a guide down the middle where the ridge of the roof goes. So down here, that's where the main weight of the structure is on top of. Okay, up here we've got this roof tool. I'll click that, and as I draw the roof, I get these little this little pink helper here that sort of snaps to certain areas. That's snapping depending on the width of the of the the roof side. So this roof section here is actually going to be. I'll just get this little temp ruler out going to be about four meters so I need to make sure my roof here the width of that section is four meters so I'm just going to add that and the roof rise will be actually 350 so I'll enter that as well so I'll start here and you draw see we get a new the helper now is in the center of the space and it tends to snap to the lines as well this is very useful it just means i can go much faster okay so i'm going to work if you w draw your roof in a clockwise fashion so i'll start up here and i'll go down and what that means the high the higher part of the roof will be on the the right hand side of my direction so i'm just going down here and there we go, there's a section of roof, and let's have a look what that looks like in the model. We can see that the direction of the peak, the direction of the ridge goes up like that. So let's do the other side now. If I just press escape to turn that off and get in here and start again, you'll see that the once it's drawn, it's drawn it in the correct place. Very good. Doesn't quite go to the edge there, that's alright, we'll get to that later. But that is pretty much exactly correct it's very good the next part is to draw the smaller gable which goes along here which also has the valley which goes down like that so i need to remove these lines these edges down to where the second gable will go It'll go against there. Actually, it goes about halfway. Like so. It goes. I'll bring this line in. It goes to about, I mean, it goes to about that far. We don't need this line anymore, so I can actually just drag that away and put it back into its little place where it disappears forever. 
let's draw this smaller gable now which comes out the fr front there okay okay there we go we need a middle line so i bring in another guide looks like it's about it looks like it's pretty close to about there um there i'll just have to measure that actually distance from there to there is 408 so so that would be if i press that that'll be 204 centimeters roof rise for this will just be 200 okay let's start so see how the little helper helps me there so if i start i draw in a clockwise fashion again so i start from there i go out to there i press escape and i start there and i go to there so we've got a little gable in the front now as well if i just zoom over i just change the rendering slightly so we can see see it more clearly roof color there we go there we go it's the we can see that i probably could have gone a bit further back there let's do that let's bring move that back to about there and just snap that to there and that to there excellent that is pretty much it but i'm going to show you how to just improve on that because we haven't capped that off and i haven't capped that section there off but that small section there i'm just going to bring this guide over over to here and get this bottom guide bring that up let's get that right and just i'm going to fill that with a floor there we go click and click press escape and we see that's now drawn down there i can also change the opacity of that so i'll just go down and change the floor color bring it up a little bit and just change the the look of it to match a bit more close to the roof okay we'll improve the color of the roof in a bit okay so to cap off the front here we'll use the wall tool and also for the sides here we'll just use the wall tool because so i've got a new feature in the wall tool and what i'll need to do just to assist a little bit is just to bring this back a little so i can draw a wall at the wall and i'll start there my wall thickness should be 20 which it is And I'll go down to this point here and then I'll draw another section of the roof and go down to um, well I'll go to go to that section the point there now, if you look at the front of the roof actually no I'll go I'll just adjust that using the, the mouse I'll go down to that point there I'm going to have to fix up the walls underneath okay it's not perfect well you can already see that i did do another tutorial where it's perfect it doesn't matter if we look at the properties on this wall I now have a start height and an end height so for this wall here it starts at 200 and it ends at zero there we go and for this first wall that starts at zero and ends at 200 excellent now we can bring the gable back across and there we go we have capped it off the same thing for the sides now so if i just i'll just bring that little bit back in the line and the same thing i'll get the wall tool out this wall is 16 so i'll make sure i've got 16 in there 
let's start uh, there. Uh, gonna need a, a guide in the middle there, so let me just get that guide out, put a guide in. It's about, it's about there, I think. Okay, so let's just draw that now and continue on. The other section, oh, I need a guide down the end as well. There we go, let's just add one while I'm here. And I'll stop at that point, that point there. I'll have to tap it with the mouse. Okay, with the keyboard, there we go. That, now if we look at that on the model, we can see it's like one great big panel. So the same thing, let's edit the start and end. So the start was at zero. The height was 300. No, it was 350. There we go. And this one starts at 350. And ends at zero. There we go. Okay, so let's bring that back now to its proper point. And that one as well. Just got to tap it because uh, it's excellent. Down here, we'll just move this back a bit so it's not in the way. I need to draw two wall sections for here as well. So select the wall, it's already 16 centimeters. Let's start down here. I would perfect that a bit. I'll have to just um, perfect those. Let me just select the wall, tap that up a little. Okay, same thing this side. It's attached to the wall underneath. Doesn't matter. Uh, same thing. And there we go. Let's uh, adjust the heights now. That's started at that point there. So that starts at 265, ends at zero. And the other one here started at zero and ended at 265. There we go. Actually, no, it's 350. 350 and 350. There we go. Excellent. Let's bring that uh, roof back down to the edge. Ah, <laughs> my rule is in the wrong spot. There we go. Let's just bring that up. There we go. Well, my guide was in the wrong spot. The guides are very useful. Okay. Let's look at that again. That is what I was trying to do. The gable and valley roof. And you no longer need these guides. You can just drag them back to the little edge of the working area so they no longer um, you know create issues if you're working in other places thanks for watching remember to like comment, subscribe, and share. Just gonna just do the color a little bit on the roof there. The roof color, I want it to be a darker color. I want the specular to be a blue like that, so it's got a kind of a slate look. Excellent. Much nicer. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.